Oh, hello everybody. How are you doing? This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt. Uh, I am a full-time reseller based here in Bremerton, Washington. And uh, for today's video, uh, we're doing a little bit of a... calling it an unboxing and a haul. Uh, tell you why. So, the backstory is this. Um, uh, somebody sent me a message, a uh, customer actually who bought from me on eBay, uh, a collector of postcards and some other ephemera, and uh, they had some postcards. They didn't really fit into their collection. They collect a few specific niches of postcards and uh, wanted to know if I'd be interested in, you know, per perhaps purchasing them. I said, of course. Let me, uh, I'd love to take a look. So I uh, went down, took a look through. Um, there was quite a bit that he had, a little bit more than I was expected. So um, we did come to a deal. Uh, we, for everything that we had talked about, um, roughly around $700. What you're gonna see here is the first roughly half. There's gonna be some more. Um, so we'll do that in a later video. And uh, I had kind of gotten a general look through things, but I didn't really like cherry pick the items that I, I grabbed. I just grabbed a, a proportional amount for the amount that I paid. Um, while I was down there and I should be going back in the next couple of weeks to pick up the rest Now this guy was a collector of a lot of different things. He's got a lot of really cool ephemera items There's some other non ephemera things in here. We'll take a look at and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around you're gonna see this stuff as I'm seeing it um, Although I have a sense of what he had in the collection. I don't know what I specifically ended up with So we'll do some postcards. We'll do some other ephemera items and some other stuff but before we get started, if it's your first time here, uh, I do videos like this whenever I have a haul. Uh, I also do almost daily shipping videos for my eBay store, as well as postcard only what sold videos that drop uh, every Sunday-ish. Usually Sunday, sometimes other days. So if you like that kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and uh, see what you got. Kind of excited for this. So here is everything. We're gonna we'll do a quick overview here, and then I'm gonna start pulling stuff out, and we can see what we got. So we got some interesting stuff in there, and these are gonna be all postcards. That's all ephemera. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull out a random pile here. There we go. And uh, we'll see what we got. So, already, these are pretty cool. This is Madrona Park in Seattle. I know this guy had a lot of Northwest postcards. So, we're going to see a lot of those. Here's Leshi Park in Seattle. These are definitely, that's undivided back. So, we're talking, you know, early, early 1900s. Observation Tower here in Volunteer Park, Seattle. Nice little Easter greetings with uh, gnomes embossed. 1907, that one's really cool. That should do well. We've got uh, Denver, Colorado. Undivided back, 1905. I'm noticing that these are all in, in nice condition. Here's Pikes Peak, Colorado, the halfway point. Undivided back, 1905. My guess is several of these, I'm, I'm seeing similar postmarks, so it probably came out of a collection or album at some point. Continental Divide at Moffett Road in Colorado. Try to get these framed well for you. Rochester, Minnesota. We've got the Rochester State Hospital. Here's a nice sepia tone. Big Tree Grove in Santa Cruz, California along the train tracks. These sepia cards have done really well for me in the past. Kelsey Lakes in Southern California. Nice little waterfall shot. 
Here's a uh, Detroit Publishing Fostint card. Uh, this is the courthouse in Las Vegas, Nevada. Early, early Las Vegas. That's really cool. Unposted. I expect that one to do quite well. Snake River, Idaho. Heron Ranch. Very cool. I know I've said that on like half of these so far. General view of the Blue Lakes. We'll kind of go through some of these faster. Here's the Berkeley YMCA, another one of these sepia tones. Very nice. Uh, I've actually had and sold this exact card before. San Jose, the Allen Park Rock. Uh, Redlands, California from Smiley Heights. Lots of interesting Long Beach, California. Here's College of Law at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I'm going to do a quick little scan through here and see if we've got... Wow. Here is Hong Kong Harbor. China postcards always do very, very well. Here's Bush Gardens, Sunken Gardens, before it was a roller coaster park, Pasadena, unposted. Manila, Philippines, nice old gateway, international po postcard. These are from the same set here. Um, Women's World. I've, I've seen a couple from this set before. I haven't seen a ton. The Skinner School in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm going to try to do a little better framing these for you. Another New Haven here with the White City Ranch. All right, let me just, I'm going to do a little quick scan through some of these. See if any of these are jumping out at me. This one's kind of cool, the Eden Water Tower in Cincinnati. Here's a very cool foreign postcard. St. Germain, the Paripal. Look at all those medals. That's a really neat one. Here's a Cuba postcard. Here's a Valencia Hotel in San Francisco after the earthquake. All right, I'm gonna pull, pull another random pile here and uh, see what else we get. There was one Continental in there. Here's the one Continental. It's kind of a cool one. Look at all the stuff she's carrying on her head. Baghdad. Clearly pre-Gulf War. There's the Sundial, San Francisco, California at Golden Gate Park. a nice Santa Catalina Island. Here is a awesome, awesome Christmas postcard. Get that framed a little better for you. Embossed. That one should do really well. Here's a uh, crowd at a bullfight, Tijuana, Mexico. Some old-timey cars and a bicycle there. Here's another Hong Kong military quarters at the peak. This is uh, 
This is during the British occupation, I believe. Here's the new naval dock, also Hong Kong. Here's the Yellowstone National Park Elkhorns. Kind of unique. It's been mounted at some point. Sometimes that matters, sometimes it doesn't. Another Hong Kong King Edward Hotel. A lot of these nice international cards. All right, now we got some nice, looks like artist signed. Little risque. This is a Aristique. Another very nice New Year's postcard. Little, little risque, drinking some champagne. Looks like she's on her third bottle. This is the richest hill in the world in Butte, Montana. Been doing really well with these uh, Butte, Montana cards lately. This is a gray craft, so a little more modern. It looks older, right? But it's 1940s probably. We'll do one more little pile here. And again, I'm just kind of going to sort through a little bit and see if anything's jumping out. And uh, little comic postcard. I have met many, liked a few, loved but one. Here's to you. And he's looking in the mirror. Kind of picture a Dorian Gray thing going on. Artist signed, Tamin. Tamin. Wow, look at that postmark. Cookhouse. That's neat. I'm going to look up. Sometimes that postmark can mean everything. Here's a uh, linen advertising for Cascade Quartz, Wenatchee, Washington. Here's a Shell Beach in Pismo, California. Now, interesting thing you'll see here, hopefully we can focus. You'll notice Pismo is spelled here with a Z. And I don't remember the actual date that they changed it. It was clearly after 1935. Uh, but now, of course, spelled with an S. Nice bridge with train, Salmonberry Rivers, Oregon. Definitely got some cool, cool ones here. Here's the uh, Oriental Limited emerging from the Cascade Tunnel on the Great Northern Railway. This guy had a, a good eye for some railway collectibles as well. Here's another artist signed, The Blind Soldier at Home. Now there are online resources, Metro Postcard. If you're not familiar with Metro Postcard, good place to look up publishers and postcard artists. Here's a Morrison Street Bridge in Portland, Oregon. That one's very cool. Here's another one of the same bridge, just a slightly different maybe older version of the or older version of the bridge. So there's the old one. Here's that. Here's the new one. So we get a couple of different views there. All right. So that's some of the postcards. Let's take a look at what else we've got. This one is Oh, this is cool. 1938. Let's see if I can get this Oops. sorry Union Pacific Railroad timetable uh, I've had similar to this before uh, the timetables can do pretty well 1938. nice Navy sticker range electronic warfare simulator the ruse 
like we got just some sort of a um, little bit more modern continental cartoon. <laughs> All right, that's kind of funny. Artist signed. Talk about. Yeah, we're not af we're not afraid of the occasional dick joke here. Alaska View, some just tourist book. This looks like a label of some kind. I'm not quite sure. I think maybe a luggage label. Nice little handbill from 1914. Vote for Jazz S. Sador. <laughs> uh, B. Sador, Sheriff. Those are cool. Somebody sold that for five bucks at some point. Not quite sure what's going on here. Sort of like some anthropomorphic. Uh, mice cooking up greetings. I, it's not a postcard. It's blank on the back. I don't know. We'll do some research on that. This is cool. This is probably World War II uh, military manual on the Lewis machine gun. Indeed, it's the handbook. Actually, World War I. 30 caliber. Very cool art. I love stuff like that. Done pretty well with it in the past. A couple of stereo views. Washington, D.C. The general view of the post office. And then this one, I expect to do very well. Yosemite Valley, California. This is a the Mayas. What we're gonna do here. We're gonna clean up just a little bit, and we'll get this so we can see these things a little bit bigger. Since we're gonna be dealing with some bigger stuff. Thank you. Oh. Hope you don't mind. I may or may not edit that out. There we go. We got a lot more run space here. Here's a uh, National Park Service uh, Saguaro National Monument. These National Park Service books, if you see them, get them. I've done very well with these. Uh, any national park. Uh, Yosemite tends to do the best, I think, but all of them do quite well. This is a oversized advertising postcard. For the fleet side, that's very neat. Here's a Chinese and Kula. So this looks like it's, it's published by the Hawaii Chinese History Center. Um, probably a oral history uh, taken down. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Interesting item there. This is, oh wow. This is Madame Tussauds exhibition, uh, exhibition guide. Not sure on the year, but look at that advertising. 
This is very nice condition. See if I can see a year in this. I mean, I can get, I can guess probably tens or twenties just based based on the advertising here. Maybe even a little older than that. Very cool item. Here is a Rhode Island building from the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, Exposition in 1904. That's a super unique. Uh, have not seen this before. It's seen some better days. Can I get a view here? So this is, I guess, the guide to the one of the buildings in the exposition. It's a really neat item. Souvenir booklet from Fort Lyon, Colorado. This one goes to see here About nine, let's see here, 1967. So just sort of a memorial pamphlet. I do like this kind of stuff. Oh, wow. So I have sold postcards from this place many times. The California Alligator Farm. This was actually in Los Angeles. Around the turn of the century, there was alligators, an alligator farm in L.A., and there was a, actually um, other ones as well in Los Angeles, but I've never actually seen the one of these. See the slide? They've got alligators going down. It's really cool. Here's a old um, pamphlet for Pikes Peak in Colorado. This was a very, very popular vacation spot around the turn of the century and into the, probably around the like 1920s, still is, but this was definitely as the West started opening up, one of the places like Yosemite that became very popular for people to go and vacation at. Here's the uh, Vanderbilt Mansion in Rhode Island. A little pamphlet on that. Well, this guy really had my number on stuff that I like. This is... a program for a sporting event in France kind of cool I don't speak French I'm sure that there's people out there being like it's this here's another National Park Service uh, this is for the Trail of Shadows Mount Rainier National Park um, probably, I'm going to guess, earlier than 1940s. Uh, that may not be the case, actually. I'm seeing a zip code on it, so it's uh, pretty easy to date it once you see a zip code. I think it's made to look older than it is. But still, definitely vintage. Another sort of souvenir guidebook for a glimpse of Colonial Newport.
This is to the Paramount Theater and the San Carlo Op Opera Company. Um, I'm not sure the location, but another old sort of pamphlet guide. Ooh, we've got a envelope from Wyoming Knife. What's in it? <laughs> well, it's a brochure for the Wyoming Knife, and it definitely looks like somebody did some testing. Uh, of their knife. Specifically for dressing your, uh, your kill. 1937 official program of Cheyenne Frontier Days. I'm pretty sure there's a good collector's market for that. Here's another National Park Service program for the, uh, I think it's Saguaro National Monument. I think the G is an H. I've never been there, but I'm pretty sure because the cactus is spelled both ways, depending on when it was typed. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I did see this. This is just a sort of interesting uh, multimedia piece of art. Lamara Eldritch Fragment. This uh, I learned about when I was picking up. This is from um, a Tacoma, Washington uh, ceramics company. They did specialized in anamorphic pottery. And this one's particularly interesting just because of the sort of weird head size compared to the rest of it. Burp, burp. I don't know. I kind of really like this thing. I don't keep a lot of stuff, but this is one of those things that's just... And look, it's a bank. Just really cool. It's signed on the bottom. I just... I think it's neat. What, what else we got here? This thing... I'll have to do a little research on this. It's just a little, like, wooden soldier. I, I have a... My sense of it is it's made to look old and actually looking old, but who knows? A couple of ashtrays. I do love me some ashtrays. 42nd Air Depot, Germany. And this is... Nice, just little, very old piece of porcelain china. Opico Syracuse. Uh, here's an etched plate for the moon landing. Not sure... It is signed and numbered. I'll have to do a little research on this. Not sure if you can really see. Maybe if we... <clears throat> nope, can't really see. We got something solid. There we go. And then National Forest Log Scaling Handbook. Some interesting, good mix of ephemera items here. I know this stuff can do really well. The Washington International Horse Show, 1965. 1978 B1 Avionics Team. So this was a Boeing Award. I've actually sold uh, quite a st few things from the um, B-1, B-2, Stealth Bomber. Um, run across a lot of that stuff here in the Northwest. What else is in here? 
Did I get everything? Hold the bottle opener. This is for, oh nice, Columbia Breweries, Heidelberg beer. It's old. Uh, nice, Mitchell 402. This is, I believe, new old stock. Yeah. Garcia vinyl. This is, this is going to do really well. I'll get this up really quickly. Yeah, it's tied off at the end. Can't sell it as new old stock. But, might try. This is a really nice uh, Made in Berlin SW68 fishing reel. Appears to never have been used. It's pristine. It's a quick drum bait casting reel. Like, this thing is minty. Cast iron. It looks like it just came out of a box. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this. All right, I think that's everything out of this box. What else? We got a little 1957 license plate tag. A 1937, it's like Japan maybe, uncirculated coin. Here is one card from a suffrage playing card deck, interesting. Little pocket cabinet card. Look how serious this guy is. So serious. I'm very serious. Nice uh, woman on the bicycle. Old, old, old photograph. It's a thoroughbred sale for the Washington Thoroughbred Yearling Sale. Probably 1960s is my guess. Nice advertising flyer for California Big Trees. Big tree bark pin cushions. That's kind of cool. It's in the shape of a pail. Here's a Seattle institution, Yield Curiosity Shop. It's not a postcard, um, and I think this is actually made to look older than it is, but if you've ever been to Seattle and you walked along the waterfront, you've probably been in this place. Here's a old photograph card. It's got the photographer on the back, and I bet, you know, we've got some road signs here we can use to identify another business sign, horse-drawn cart. It says here, Cambridgeport, Mass. So we might be able to do some research and figure something out on this one. Here's a uh, window decal sticker for University of Hawaii. I've actually done pretty well with these kind of decals as well. Here's a nice, very heavy, it's different kinds of stone. It looks like probably some jasper, copper, and turquoise. Looks like some tortoiseshell beads. There's a lot of different stuff going on here. It's very cool.
Oh, we got some more little smalls in here. Another ashtray for uh, China Lantern in Beaverton, Oregon. We actually got two of those. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> very, very old corkscrew. This is a patent date of looks like eighteen eighty five. Here's a one year service pin for Alcoa. Very nice, like uh, Levi Strauss belt buckle in the shape of a Levi's button. Oh, wow, this is cool. It's a celluloid tape measure. I've run across these before. Uh, these can do very well. Um, to the right buyer, you never know. Hose, gloves, shirts, sweaters, underwear, overalls, pants, notions. Wholesale only. That could be a big chunk of my money back right there. These are some buttons. There would be pin backs. They're missing the pins, but this is for the Woodstock Anarchist Party. And you know, here in the Washington State, we love our anarchists. Uh, this is a Harley Davidson Miller High Life bottle opener pendant it, or it looks like it may be part of a keychain at one point uh, solid brass be interesting to find out a little more on that um, this is a Columbia Tools Steel Company uh, looks like pencil topper or something similar to that. It's hard. There you go. This is definitely a pencil topper for Morton Salt. Try to get some focus there. It's a really good condition one too. All right. Oh, look at that. We got two of them. Oof. All right, I'm running out of space here on my phone, so we're going to wrap it up. We got a nice little brochure for Schenectady. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, I think I did pretty well here. I, like I said, so far, I'm about 300 all in. We only kind of scratched the surface on the postcards. I see my money back many, many times over with this. Got to put in the work, but it's there. Uh, let me know what you think. What's your favorite thing that I pulled out of here? Um, again, this was all more or less new to me, so um, kind of excited to go start getting some of it listed. And, um, you know, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. We'll catch you on the flippy floppy. See you next time. Bye.